in this video we are going to understand how to calculate the percentage of total in DAX this is a very important calculation and used in various report you might have come across where we are just trying to find out what is the percentage of contribution of a particular entity towards the whole so yeah let's get started and see how to perform this calculation in DAX before we move forward in the video let me tell you that BetaNex has an exclusive workshop on Power BI and data analytics. The link is in the description and we will talk more about it later in the video. Now let's get back to our topic. So before we uh, proceed to the calculation, I would like to show you the tables that we have uh, for doing all these calculations. So let me go to the table view. So now you can see this is the sales team table. So this is basically a dimension table. This is the main fact table that we have, which is the sales table. Uh, we have our products table and we have locations table. We have customers table. Uh, we have a centralized date table known as the calendar table. And I also have a measures table where I used to keep all the measures and I have already created a very simple measure uh, of total sales. Uh, that is nothing but taking the aggregated sum of the sales amount column from the sales fact table so which is your this one okay this is a fictitious data set uh, from the like basically on regional sales analysis of us uh, so you can use it and in case you are interested in this data set and you want to work on it you can download this particular data set uh, from this link okay so you can just go to this particular link and download this data set and uh, you know you can uh, work along uh, with this now let me show you the data model so this is the data model that we have it's a simple star schema structure where you have the fact table in the center and around it we have all the dimension tables that we have just seen and then we have the measures table uh, here uh, where I used to keep all the measures so here we will keep all the measures that we create okay so this is the structure i follow some people create the measures within the table so that's up to you uh, but this is the you know format that i like to follow now let's see okay so let me drag the product category column here uh, maybe subcategory okay and always remember guys so to keep everything in a matrix visual or maybe in a table visual first so that you can analyze the numbers and then once you are you know all good with the numbers and all you can go for some other visualization but uh, when you are doing some calculation you want to check something or you are debugging something always go for a matrix visual or a table visual okay so this is the different subcategories of a product that we have now let's see how much sales uh, we are making from these different subcategories so let me drag the total sales here uh, so yeah you can see that uh, these are the different sales amount for different uh, product subcategories uh, but as you can see that the numbers are pretty big and uh, you know and you know deciphering anything from this particular table is a little bit complicated okay so i can sort it always and i can see okay these are my top three sub products that is giving me more sales and these are the lesser products so now let's say you come up to a scenario where your boss or maybe uh, your client asked to see that uh, they need to see uh, how much contribution each sub product is making you know to get to this particular number they just want to analyze uh, what is the percentage of contribution of each subcategory so how can you do that so the calculation would be if you see like what should be the normal calculation so the normal calculation would be you take this amount so which is the home decor amount and you divide it by the total amount so this is the entire all the subcategory sum of all amount which is nothing but the total sales actually so if you see the total sales in a card visual um, so this is let me turn into a card visual so which is 82.69 million which is basically this one so if i uh, go to call out value and display unit none so you can see this is the same number that you see here right <clears throat> so uh, now I want to see what is the percentage contribution right so how can I do that so the calculation is simple okay we all know it 
so this one divided by this one will give the percentage of contribution of home decor then similarly this total sales amount for kitchen essential divided by this total number will give me the percentage of contribution of kitchen essential but how to do it in DAX how to access this one well there is a DAX function known as the all function okay so I'll, I'll, I'll search in the internet for the all function now before we move on into the topic let me inform you that data analysis and business intelligence has become a crucial part of any industry today and I guess you won't like to lag behind others right well if you want to become irreplaceable in your data analytics career join our three hours power bi and data analysis mastery workshop in which we will not only teach you how to perform top-notch data analysis but will also make you build stunning dashboards so that you can become one of those top one percent of power bi users who snatch some high paying jobs so what are you waiting for join our workshop by clicking the link in the description below now let's get back to our topic now you can ask me why i'm searching in the internet right so see i can directly show you that function and apply it but you should always know how to search in the internet whenever you get stuck and where to find it okay so just search like this all function in dax so you get two such links one from microsoft and one from dax guide so you can choose either of one i always prefer to go to dax guide so i'll go to dax guide and let's see what this particular all function does so you see it is saying that returns all the rows in a table or all the values of a column ignoring any filter that might have applied right focus on this point ignoring any filters that might have applied so all things all function removes any filter that is applied towards it now what it has to do with our calculation then so if i'll show you this table look at this table so here if you see this is my total sales but here we are having a context of home decor so my total sales is getting filtered by home decor and it is giving me only the home decor amount right similarly here the total sales is getting filtered and only giving me the kitchen essentials amount understood so these product subcategories are acting like a filter on the total value right and what we learn about the all function it removes the context right it removes any filter applied so let's try to see okay what does the all function will do so i'll create a measure new measure yeah so we will name it as all sales and the calculation would be simply calculate and here i will take total sales and here i will provide all so i need to remove the context or remove any filter that is applied on the product subcategory column right so i will just write product subcategory okay so here i am calculating the total sales but i am removing any filter that is present for product subcategory now, if i drag this particular uh, measure all sales here so you see i am seeing the total amount why because now this particular calculation is ignoring any context that is present here right now to calculate the percentage of total all we need to do is divide this amount by this amount right so let's create the calculation then okay so i'll click on new measure then i will do percentage total all right and then we will use divide function and then we will use total sales then all sales right so this will give us the percentage of total okay so let me drag this here so now we can also convert this format to percentage So now you see we are seeing the percentage of product subcategory here okay but all the step that we did is just for our understanding 
we can do all of this in a single step as well so let me create another measure okay to name it as percent of total sales right and then directly use the divide function use the total sales here and here use the calculate function to calculate the total sales but remove the context from the product subcategory right so yes so this is uh, it and this is this one okay now we also need to convert this into percentage so let's change it to percentage now if i drag this value here you will see you see the same value 38.67 same thing so all you need is just one measure to calculate everything okay now we can apply any filter over it to filter this particular data set so let's say um i have a region filter here okay so let me convert into as a slicer so if i select midwest so these things will be filtered as per midwest you see this percentage are also changing as i am changing the different regions okay you see these numbers are also changing and because another context is applied over this particular table which is the region context and we can filter it using any of these uh, filters that we have from any of the dimension tables right and the better way to show like as i said how much is the percentage of contribution right so maybe i can just drag a uh, subcategory column okay and maybe i can drag the percent of total sales here like this and then what i can do is i can create a chart like this okay so here i can see right basically how the different subcategories are contributing and how much they are contributing to my total sales so i can see that okay this particular home decor has the highest contribution and relative to that the kitchen essentials has less contribution right so in this way i can see or maybe i can also see like this so i can see okay this has the highest contribution this has the lowest contribution like this so any of the chart as per the requirement we can pick and show this particular data so this is it for today's video yours and we will see next time please do like comment share the video and subscribe to our channel for more such informative videos also do check out our workshop link in the description we'll see you there thank you